I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. What's up, like it's your boy Chick Smooth. Real quick before I play this clip for you guys, just to add some context, if you guys remember about two months back, Irv Gotti went on Drink Champs and was basically pillow talking about his relationship with Ashanti, detailing certain private stuff that they did. Fat Joe then went on his show and called Irv Gotti a sucker. Irv Gotti didn't really like that. He responded back confused saying, wait, I thought we were friends. Why are you calling me out publicly? Well, they finally ran into each other and here's how it went according to Fat Joe. <laughs> You was on the red carpet like this. Buy my book. You don't know this is the book of Jose. Get used to it. We have a series on Showtime coming with Kenya Barris and the Torero brothers. Based on the book on Showtime already. It's going to be legendary. <laughs> oh, no, the guy, you know, he got that big pun. I'm, I'm doing the big pun chapter in my book. Part one right now where I say he sleeps, then we wake him up and Pun used to go in the booth and have the whole song written in the sleep. My brother Rich the Barber, he falls asleep anywhere. He could be a tornado, a hurricane. He could be in the studio blasting the music. He's in there like, he starts snoring, right? I'm like, yo, bro, Stephen A. Smith, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> and you know how the snoring go. When the snoring come, it get contagious. I know. Right? And so uh I can tell you some crazy shit. Also, shout out to Richie Akiva. I went to uh Simon Akiva. If you from the Bronx, and this is with no disrespect, if you're not from there, you wouldn't understand. There was a clothing store called Jew Man. And my brother Simon was one of the owners of Jew Man, him and Melvin, and they Richie Akiva's father and uncle beautiful guy so i went to the funeral you know and i ain't gonna lie I don't, uh, um it was so moving man it's so touching man and, and and to see how he affected so many like he got a street guy fat joe in there and there was definitely some jewish people looking like i did not know simon knew fat joe like this when fat joe came by himself first thing in the morning staten island and was there and the, i think leonardo DiCaprio was there everybody you could it was so crazy, but Simon's just a regular guy, but uh, shout out to Jackie. It was just, and Jennifer, it was really, really uh, moving, his home going, right? What I noticed is that we all go in the same box. Whether you Muslim, whether you Jewish, whether you Catholic, whether you Christian, everybody going in the box. So you got to enjoy your life while you're here and make the best of it. And whatever you want to do in life, whether it wants to be a legacy, go enjoy your life whatever you want to do you got to do it while you're here because when you die don't matter how rich you wish you're going in that box you know and so like my brother jr says jr Rodinger says is what you do with the dash you know when you go to the cemetery they put the day you were born the day you died what you do with that dash that's a bar. get what i'm saying that's a bar it's what you do with the dash that really matters did you help people? Were you righteous? Did you look out for people? We also did the homecoming to JR. J Lo was there, Ben Affleck. Uh, Fox. Shout out Lauren Rodinger, Jamie Foxx, and Swiss and Alicia. They curated the whole thing. And DJ Cassidy, and who else was there? Gloria Stefan, and Khaled, and, and, and uh, uh, Dave Brutman, and if I, if I, put, oh, Ja Rule, Irv Gotti, Irv Gotti. Oh, yes. I saw Irv Gotti for the first time. Yo, listen, listen, listen. I saw Irv Gotti for the first time. And let me tell you something. Love is something incredible. I seen him and I kissed him right in his forehead. He was sitting down. I walked up to him, I kissed him in his forehead. Do you know a kiss in the forehead is the most honest kiss you could give? Did you ever know that? You can Google that. The most honest kiss is in the forehead. God wanted it like that. I walk and I immediately see Herb. I kiss him in the forehead and I say, I love you. Nobody loves you more than me. And you can see he normally would argue with somebody, but he looked at me like, okay. <laughs> like, fuck it. Yeah. I get it, Joe. You love me. You know what I'm saying? And you, 
you, you know, he's my brother and I love him, man. I love John, love Chris. And uh, and that's how that happened right there, man. I seen my brother, I kissed him in the forehead, let him know I love you. And so when you tell a person I love you and I love you, and you show them, but you show them, really nothing they can do. They just know you really love them, right? And so uh, that was amazing to me. Hold up, let me see if I got my next guest.